Previously on Use Your Imagination. They just don't bring people back to life. This is, like, destiny. This is fate. There's a reason we're brought back, and I think you need to fulfill it. With all due respect, lady, I don't give a shit about fate or destiny. These are triage tents. There's a scream. They have blank eyes. And they shuffle forward off of this cot and come for one of the priests nearest to them. And start biting down on their neck. You watch as this person, now a zombie, lurches forward off of their cot. Their skin is a sickly green color and their eyes are blank and lifeless. Their arms are outstretched forward and they grab the nearest priest who is bustling around treating the sick. They sink their teeth into the priest's neck and pull out. Viscera and blood pour from the wound as the zombie pulls at the jugular. The priest sinks to the ground and the people surrounding you scream in panic or running for the nearest exit. A couple of priests stay behind. One of them pulls out a small stone and presses their thumb into it. They begin speaking into it, calling for backup from the city guard and other clerics, and a voice comes through, responding with confirmation. As the crowd bustles and the patients are pulled from their cots to retreat, the zombie lurches forward once more, grabbing the nearest patient who is trying to run but was too late. Soon, they sink to the ground as well, with a good portion of their neck pulled out. I need you to roll initiative. Okay. All right. One. One of Do us is Do you want me to here. roll too? Oh yeah. Hattie's gone. Well, no, I need all of you to roll initiative, because how this is going to work, um, oh, we're going to go by turns, and when we get to Hattie's turn, we're going to jump cut to her perspective. Okay. Okay. I, I hope I'm okay. hope I'm like last or first then. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I'm probably last. Oh, I got a 3. I got a okay. 3 too. Oh no. I got I have a 10. <laughs> okay, so um yeah, you can chat. put that in chat and give me an average for that. Mm. Um I still have to get out my calculator and do the average for uh, them. Actually, um, add these two numbers. Should I add? I uh, probably should have added my initiative bonus. Two. Shouldn't I? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So add, <laughs> add the two numbers that I put in chat to that average, because those are the priests that you're going to be fighting with. Uh, what? Um, and then did, the zombie how guy. How did you get three? Me? Both of you. Oh, oh I don't have I don't have, I have a two. Technically, I, have... I have a two. Oh, my initiative my... is minus one. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't have an initiative bonus, but I rolled a three. Wow, okay. So uh, the so average that. is like ten. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll just put... There. Nice. Okay, so... Um, let me go ahead and switch to... The map. Ooh. Ooh. Of course okay. I'm not there. <laughs> the zombie um, <clears throat> sees as you guys are kind of making your way inside and these and all these people are kind of trying to move out of the way and the priests are kind of just staring down this zombie that has now appeared uh, <laughs> from a, a living being and is going to kind of, it's going to kind of make its way over here, um, shuffling over, and uh, <clears throat> it's going to go for one of the priests with a slam. Apparently that's the only thing a zombie can do. Oh. Thank you, D&D. &D. <laughs> so... <laughs> And just hits. Wow. Okay. Um, so that's a hey. 
Hey, what does this mean? <laughs> on my, <laughs> I have these, I have these cards with all the monsters on it, so that I don't have to flip through the monster manual when I'm yeah. DMing. Let me that send a picture sense. because I don't know what this means. <laughs> uh oh, already just, <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> oh, like you said, like someone said, five idiots try to play D&D. Yeah, play D&D for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Really what does the like B that's... mean? What does the B mean on the end of that? 1D6 uh, plus 1B? One, I, th I think it maybe was I mean, my a typo. first thought was that the beam meant bastard, but I'm yeah. pretty sure that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> one one it B. <laughs> okay, one B. B. <laughs> maybe it has like a small, tiny little like bumblebee in its pocket, and the B. Oh just yeah, that's out probably it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, just add one B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh. that's uh. <laughs> 3B damage. 3Bs <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just come out of nowhere. Just <laughs> you see a bee kind of fly out of the zombie's pocket. <laughs> and go over and, and sting one of the priests for one of the for one of that damage. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, this is fun. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's the end of the zombie's turn. Okay. <laughs> my turn? I can't move my character, by the way. Oh Oof. no. Oh no! Yeah, hold on. This is supposed to be the default token for this character, Roll20. You're gonna have to work with me on this. Mm. Hey, there we go. I have Ooh. control. Okay. Oh, how'd you flip it? What? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's behind me right now? Directly behind me. Uh, so directly behind you, that's where you came in from. It's just a so big outside. Door. Well, this is a big. It's like a tent, so it's kind of the entrance to this <coughs> tent, and there's snow on the ground outside as well. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Okay. <laughs> and then shift into a mountain lion. Oh, fantastic. Oh, oh. sweet. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna run 20 feet this way and pounce and, yeah, pounce on the zombie. Okay. Um. Hits it with a claw attack on the same turn. That target must succeed on a DC 13 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh. <sighs> well, I went to do the claw attack, and I got a one. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, I miss. Okay. Never mind. So you now you're just... To, <laughs> you don't have to roll a strength saving throw, I guess, because it says if I hit with a claw attack. Okay. So is that the end of your turn? Um, yes. Okay. That's so, nice. who's up next? Uh, I think it's one of the priests, if we're going by that order. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Priest is going to, the priest that got hit by the zombie, and the bee earlier, uh, is going <gasps> to uh, swing with their mace. Toward the zombie. <clears throat> oh, 
<laughs> oh. I, na- I rolled a natural two. Oh. <laughs> so, oh. no on that one. So the priest unfortunately misses. They're getting so stung. Of the bees. Getting, <laughs> yeah, getting stung by the bee really, really messed him up. They're horrified, <laughs> horrified by bees. Okay, so <laughs> then I think it's actually the other priest's the other priest. turn. Yeah, so the priest is gonna do the same thing. Oh no! I rolled a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that dice in jail. These priests <laughs> just are so scared of okay. bees. It's time to open up the dice jail. <laughs> God. They're they're in jail now. Sorry. Okay. And then <laughs> Looks like the clerics had a lot have a lot of work ahead of them. Now they're healing like three people. <laughs> okay, let me just get some new dice out real quick. There you go. Okay. Uh, so then I think it's it is my turn now, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cast Charm Person on Ooh. Ooh. the zombie. So they, they just need to, the zombie just needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, what's the DC on that? Uh, 14. Uh, no. Um, Darn it. With the... No, I mean, I didn't save. Oh, uh, yes! It, it, sa- <laughs> it didn't save. Uh, <laughs> is it? I rolled a 12, and then its wisdom is negative 2. So Okay. Um, awesome. So now it's charmed by me. Okay. Wait. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, it now regards me as a friendly acquaintance. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it lowers its arms and looks to you with a, a very slow head nod. And now it's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, technically, you had advantage on that, on that roll, uh, Sarah. You didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so the spell ends if we attack it but okay, I'm gonna so tell then you might so I'm just gonna tell, tell him to not attack anyone okay so now you have a docile zombie yeah what problem should solved should we name him <laughs> should we name him oh wait, okay. oh, no, wait that's a human person uh, oh wait it lasts that's for one hour person. lasts for an hour okay so okay. you have to murder it in, in an, an hour. hour so yeah. um as you as you do that, um, your attention is drawn back to the body of the priest from before. Oh no! And the body oh, no. of the patient. Uh, it killed before. And it had been laying on the ground limply with blood pouring out of their wounds but now it's moving slowly pushing itself off the ground and as it does so it begins to shuffle forward Uh, and now we're gonna move over to um to (laughs) your turns to finish that up I think Hattie is next. I just let Kai go first. It just it'll it'll be better narratively wise. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Because um, we like so... pretty much got the same score. So. Cool. 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 Okay. So Kai is gonna cast command. I is that a first or uh, first level spell it's slot of command? Yeah. Okay. Um. You speak a one-word command to a creature you can see within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. The spell has no effect if the target is undead, if it doesn't understand your language, or if your command is directly harmful to it. It's undead. Yeah, isn't it undead? It's, it's undead! undead. Oh, no! Okay, wait! Oh, there goes my well-thought-out plan to tell it to, like, oh. sit down! Um, what about... Oh, uh, wait, wait. Okay, what about... Old person. 
Choose a humanoid that you see within a range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. All right. <laughs> okay. That 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 applies. Okay. So <laughs> I um I'm gonna hold person as a second level spell slot. Um. So I'm gonna cast that, and then the saving throw, wisdom saving throw, is that on my save DC? Uh. Yeah, spell save DC. Okay, yeah, so it needs to be higher than a 12. It's wisdom, right? Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Rolled a 12, negative 2 on wisdom, so... (laughs) Nice. Alright, so now that the, the one that just, like, sat up is paralyzed... All right. Which one? Oh, the um, the, the 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 second one, the one that just got up that hasn't been charmed. Oh well, there are two of them now. There are two there, more. There's oh, this there's one, the priest, and, and then that one. victim. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, dang it. Okay. The one closer um, or farther away. I'll do the one closest to uh, Lezeth. And I like to imagine that she, uh, like, went to go pray to, like, commune with the goddess. And I don't know if that's how you were planning on doing that, but... Yes, I was planning on trying to, like, find a sign or just pray or do something to get some freaking idea of what to do. Okay. So... You stay kneeling within the inner sanctum of the Temple of the Knowing Mistress. There are a few people around, a few priests and clerics making their rounds through the bookshelves behind you. Bowing your head in prayer, you think about all that has happened to you just in the past week or so. Fate. Dying. What could all this mean? Why them? Why you? And suddenly, you hear the sound of footsteps entering the chamber as another figure approaches the front of the inner sanctum. Opening your eyes slightly, you see an ash-skinned tiefling with large, curling horns coming out of the side of their head. They're wearing half-moon glasses that are balanced on the tip of their nose. They also wear priest vestments that you've seen of the other priests walking around. However, these thick blue and silver robes have a bit more ornamentation to them, with different silver threads embroidered on sheer blue fabric that swathes the sleeves in a tabard draped over their shoulders with the stitched holy symbol of the Knowing Mistress displayed proudly in gold thread. Although the vestments worn by priests are different between temples, one thing has always remained. The robe of the high priest. The one this figure now wears. And you watch as they kneel beside you and lower their head in prayer, and the room becomes silent once more. I'll let you do like one thing and then we have to get back to the action. Try to think of what to say because I want to say something to them. Dang it. Because I'm pretty sure we wanted to ask them about some stuff earlier. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, sup. <clears throat> yeah, I just like scoot over a little closer, like on my knees, and I'm like, so I think there's something you might want to know. Okay, so with that, we're going to start combat over again. Um, So I am just going to count the initiative of the first zombie as the initiative of the other two, so they're kind of in the same group. So I I don't have to do more math. Um, (laughs) So (laughs) one of them is under your hold person spell, Mm -hmm. right? So the other one is going to make their way over. And I don't know that they can actually do anything um, because they're not like right directly in front of somebody. The other one's just like 
having a conversation with Teth over here. Yeah. <laughs> They're chilling. They're bros. We're buddies now. Well, yeah. just for an hour, so, <laughs> then we're enemies again. But <laughs> so, so that one's just... I don't know what to make that one do, because it can't... It can't really do anything, I don't think. Oh, wait. Can I tell the one I've charmed to attack the one that aren't charmed? Uh, I guess... I don't know if that's part of the spell. I don't know if that's part of the spell either. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I might let you do that because I think it's interesting. I mean, the spell only says that it is my friend now. Okay. That's all. So so I suppose you could tell it to attack its friends. (laughs) On your turn, though, right? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to let's do that on your turn instead. Okay, so I'm just going to end that one's turn because it can't do anything. Uh, So. My turn, right? uh, Yeah. The one under hold person can do a wisdom saving throw to break that. um... Oh, well, let's see. Can it do it each? Yeah, each turn. Oh, okay. Okay, so. So, um, I rolled a 16. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, it can move now. Uh-oh. Okay. So... Are you sure? Oh. Yeah, it... Uh, the spell save... It needs to save uh, wisdom 12. And then on a success, the spell ends. Yeah, so... Wisdom saving throw does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it. If it fails, it's charmed by you until the spell ends. Or until you or your companions do anything to harm it. When the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. Charm person, right? No, I cast charm person. Uh, they're talking about oh, hold, hold person. person. I thought yeah. we were talking about charmed person. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So that one can now move. Uh, so it is going to try to come around the bed. Um, skirting past its friend. Um <laughs> Oh, is it gonna go after me? The perfect accommodation to that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank You're you so welcome. much for that gift. Okay. So, so um, Leza, it's going to try to. It's gonna to try to hit you. All right. Are you still the mountain lion? Mountain lion. Okay. Uh, Armor class of 12. Uh, okay, so that's a plus three. Yikes. Um, that definitely hits, because it's. I rolled a 14. Alright. And the attacks is plus three to it. So, um, uh, 1d6 plus 1b, of course. <laughs> that's a that's a new feature of the zombie. Each one has a B in its pocket. Uh, <laughs> all right, so that's <clears throat> that's five. All right, and you watch as another another B comes out and stings you. <laughs> I just growl. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now I think it's it's the priest turn. No, it's my turn. I have 19. Oh, okay. Because one zombie tried to do something but couldn't. One is charmed and the other broke hold person and attacked me. Okay. Um, shit. <laughs> Are we trying to not kill them? I... Well, the one right in front of you not the one that just attacked you, but the one right in front of you, uh, is now best friends with your companion, so maybe don't hit it, but... <laughs> hmm. Alright, if that's the plan. I'm gonna growl angrily and back up to my original position, and I think the one to my left gets an opportunity attack on me. The one in front oh. would as well. 
but it's uh, charmed, so I guess it's not attacking me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I rolled a natural one <laughs> on an opportunity then. attack. So, no. <laughs> I just spin around and run back. And... Okay, and... Hold on, actually. I don't remember entirely if it's a... I think it's just a bonus, I mean, it's a bonus action to shift into an animal. I assume it's a bonus action to shift out of an animal? Sure. Okay. So I shift out of being a mountain lion, although mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it and wanted to use it. And I'm going to cast Charm Person at second level on both of the two zombies. The two that are not charmed. Okay. Um, yeah. I can target one additional creature. All right, yeah, I'm charming both of them. All right, what's the saving throw on that? Uh, wisdom. DC? Yeah, wisdom. And my DC is 15. Oh. Okay. Uh, so I roll a 13. One of them. Wisdom is <laughs> negative two. So one of them fails on their saving throw. <clears throat> we'll the other the one, one nearest. the other one got a natural 19. Shit. Oh. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> so the one all the way in the back is just hanging out. Um, <clears throat> is just hanging out waiting for a chance to attack. <laughs> Wait, which one is charmed now? Uh, the one nearest <laughs> to us. This is that one. There's a, so that there's one a blockade is char of charmed zombies now, <laughs> preventing, preventing the one angry one from getting to us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so now it's... Well, now the priests can't do anything, because you've got... <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> I didn't... I, someone charmed one of them, I didn't know we were going that route, and I was like, okay. Okay, so now what are, the, what are the priests gonna do? I don't know. I know one of them can't do anything except back up. <laughs> and give one of the, the charmed ones a little room. Uh, but this... I'll, I'll let this one back one up. up. One up top. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's one that's uncharmed. The other two have just kind of, like, gone What limp. spells do these priests have? I think we're trying to save oh, the zombies. Oh hell yeah! Well, <laughs> oh, the the I priests don't... between the two beds. I figured out what they're gonna do. They're gonna sacred flame the crap out of that one zombie. Mm -hmm. Um, so saving throw. Okay. <laughs> That's a seven. It does not succeed. <laughs> And 1d8. Now I have to find a d8. Alright. That's the end of the priest's turn. Oh shoot, now it's my turn. <laughs> um, see, my plan was to cast Charm Person again on the other... I guess I could just do it again on the one zombie that's not charmed. Oh no. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not a concentration spell, so yeah, mm -hmm. I think... Okay. That's just what I'm gonna do. All right. I don't have any. I don't have any spells. Like all my spells are like very wide range. So if I cast <laughs> any of them, everybody in this tent is going to be hurt. Oh, so no. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna cast Charm Person on this last uh, zombie. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So now you just have this trio of zombies that's going to follow you out around for about an hour. For about an hour. <laughs> but <laughs> now we have more hour. time to figure out what to do <laughs> you should about probably this whole zombie send, situation. You should probably send them off into the wasteland before, oh, yeah. before that hour ends. <laughs> that's smart. But also, like setting them out. What if they just attack, you know, other people? I could I was just kind of more damage. Yeah. I was just kind of kidding. But. I know, but just they were agreeing. Oh, I wonder if it didn't happen. <laughs> okay, so everything's calmed down for the moment. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. For the next hour, everything is calm. Okay. Yeah. What happens right after? Well, um, we have three very angry zombies. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's gonna have to roll initiative again. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Is anyone in the tent? Well, I mean, like not immediately? After, I mean, right after we finish charming them. Oh. Someone um, called for a bunch of guards and clerics and stuff. Oh yeah, but definitely. Now, There's the zombies are subdued. <laughs> you you look back because you were busy just like having a chat with these zombies here. <laughs> you look back and there's a bunch of like guards and clerics just kind of coming into the trying to come into the tent after watching you subdue these beasts and <laughs> and now now it's just a bunch of chaos. <laughs> Is anyone in immediate need of healing? Um nope. Nope. I mean speak now or forever hold your peace cuz like I got slots, and I'm ready to burn them. <laughs> uh, I don't... Can't we just, like, kind of gently nudge them into, like, a, a crate or a pen or something? Just kind let of the, lock them away? Let the guards shackle them? Yeah. Put Cuff them in boys. jail, like... <laughs> Get them what else are we gonna do with them? We just charmed them, so... To contain them somewhere. The yeah, just yeah, we need to contain them somewhere. Maybe, maybe this could help someone figure out how this happened. Yeah. Oh yeah, experiment on them. Yeah. Maybe that's a human rights rights violation. (laughs) I don't know. Are they very conversational, the zombies? No, they're not. It's just a joke that I keep telling that isn't funny. (laughs) Should we be uh, asking them questions? No, they did. I don't think they can talk. Okay. Uh, Should we be doing this in character? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I don't know. sure. Sure, why not? <laughs> um, okay, so, like, do y'all have, like, um, maybe a, a, a pen or just a big cage that we could shove these bad boys in? <laughs> Trust you, this is bizarre to me as it is to you. Well, I guess we can arrange something with one of the the local the local jail. Might want find to do a quickly. a cell there to yeah, the clock, shove them in until we can take care of ticking. them. Within within an hour. Um, can you do this? Of course, of course. And they just nod their head and go off somewhere to... (laughs) To to organize something. And the other guards come around and and start putting shackles on on the wrists of these zombies. I'm just gonna go over here, sit down, pet my bird. Okay. Wash the zombies. Keep a close eye on them. And some of the other clerics are coming in and asking the priests questions. The ones that fought by your side, sort of. Uh, <laughs> asking them some questions about what happened. Um, and some of the the patients that had been in the tent before are, are starting to creep back over, kind of looking in curiously at this bizarre scene of the zombies being arrested. Um, so, Kai came here originally, I think, to, uh, uh, like, help heal Hmm. like, the people that needed it. I don't know if there's anyone but the people who have been affected by, like, the drug outbreak in here. I think everyone ran out of the tent. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, if you see a zombie, like, get up, you're probably not going <laughs> yeah. to stay in the area. <clears throat> yeah, there, like, not there are as no, stupid as us. <laughs> there are no uh, patients in the tent anymore. They okay. all were evacuated as soon as this happened. Is there anyone that looks like they might have, like, a modicum of authority that Kai could go talk to? Um, make a perception check, I guess, to see if... You can 
see anyone that looks important. Yeah. In any All of right. the, the higher ranking robes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, 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 pass. Perception is with my wisdom bonus, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. That's a 12. Okay, uh, looking around, you don't see anybody that would match the description of one of the higher ranking priests. Um, you get the feeling just kind of looking over. These are more, uh, lower level priests within, within the church, uh, that were just kind of assigned here, uh, to, to care for the people that have been affected by this drug outbreak. Would it help to maybe go and ask one of them? Or would that just waste time? Um, I don't know. Well, I guess I'll go try it. So Kai's gonna walk up to whoever's closest and just kind of be like, um, so who's in charge around here? Like, do I need to be assigned to a specific tent? I'm here to help out with um, healing those affected. Um, and they regard you, um, well, most of us got our assignments up at the temple. We, we came down here and set up ourselves. And it probably would have made sense, instead of rambling on like a prat, to ask Reynala to assign me somewhere, because I really don't feel like walking back to the temple. Um... <laughs> And, yeah. and they look at you with this understanding look. It's a, Hindsight is twenty twenty. It's a trek back up to the temple, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I think I'll just uh, stay with my um, colleagues, and if I see s- someone in need, like, just now, uh, I will assist. But maybe make the trek tomorrow, because my legs do hurt quite a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they just nod and go back to doing what they were doing. <laughs> Which is kind of trying to manage the chaos that of what just happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Alright. So should what what do you two want to do? What do you ladies want to do? I have That's absolutely no truck. idea. <laughs> go tell Hattie what happened. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> See if she found anything. You think she'll be jealous that we just, like, won a fight without her? Well, we didn't really do anything. We just cast Charm Person three times. I think casting Charm Person three times is something. Like, I feel like it we, It wasn't like, much of like, a fight, though. But we managed collateral damage really well. Yeah. We handled the situation appropriately. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Might not have been as flashy as one would have liked, but I, I feel like we succeeded in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> All right, like then how let's go back and see Hattie. He sure. just said that you didn't want to go back up to the temple. <laughs> now we're going back up to the temple. Shoot! And, and yet... <laughs> Do we have any way of, of like, t- remotely contacting her? Or all of sending? All of the temples are up where you were before. God! Do y'all want to stop at my place and get lunch? <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, there's, uh, I don't know if you noticed by my, um, uh, my apothecary, there's a tavern that my mentor used to run, if y'all would like to go. Sure. Okay. <laughs> sure. Are we going to do anything about Hattie, though? Are we just gonna go have I'm- lunch without her? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you guys really up for the trek up to the temples again? Yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's just go get lunch then. I mean, Lezeth, if you want to, like, transform into a bear or something and carry me on your back, that would be quite lovely, but I don't know. If transform you're up into to a what? That. You cut out a hands. bear. <laughs> uh, I mean, I Can could. you imagine? That might be a sight to so- the sight to see. I could. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it today again. That was. I can only do oh. it twice a day. Gosh. So oh my crazy. gosh. 
We're a mess. This is <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Wait. Um, my robe of useful items, I think, has a horse on it. <gasps> wait, let me look. Wait, 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 I can turn into a horse. I planned for this. Oh, a riding man, so horse I can... with a saddlebags. I can ride on Lezeth, and you can <laughs> ride on your new horse. I can turn into a, into a war horse, and I can like, carry a cart and shit. Oh, sick. I just like the, the idea that you prepared for the situation where you needed to turn into a horse. I did. I, did. I have it written down in, in this little piece of notebook paper. Of that course. Has different, of course you do. You guys know we still have a horse and a cart, right? Oh my yeah, god! It's at the oh! <laughs> Be there to remind everyone of everything. There's, you're gonna get I, feel like we, you're gonna get some dirty looks from people riding on a horse down the street. But sure, go ahead. I mean, I think all of us share maybe like one brain cell. Oh, one hundred percent. I have a uh, plus zero intelligence and minus I, two I have, wisdom. So I have plus one. <laughs> I have uh, plus two intelligence and plus two wisdom. So maybe I should start <laughs> thinking before I speak. <laughs> That's what Hattie would yeah. adore. The, the, three, the three of you have one collective brain cell. Hattie has all of their other ones. Yeah. Hattie has the brain and we have like the cerebral cortex. So are we going to walk down to the stables? And yeah, let's let's go get my hor- hor- the horse. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Go to the temple. Okay. So, what's your name? What's Did the horse's name? name? Horse? I did not yeah, name, name the, the horse. horse. Should we name the horse? Yeah. Please name the horse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what good horse names are. We could do Epona from Legend of Zelda. Oh. Ooh. I'm looking up good horse names now. <laughs> um, I need horse names and I need them now. California <laughs> Chrome? Ew. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like a show big brown. <laughs> yeah, there's no like race horse bid. names. <laughs> Third Barton. That sounds I'm, like discount Kentucky Derby names. I imagine we're just debating this, like what to name the horse as we're walking down to the stable. Burkham okay, oh King. <laughs> okay, how about you guys think on that? We're going to go to Hattie. Yeah, yeah that's seems smart. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this entire conversation was beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. Hattie, so you're still at the temple. Yep. Uh, kneeling down next to the high priest that has just sauntered in and kneeled down next to you. <laughs> what are you doing? So, yeah, I'm kneeling next to them. And I'm just like, listen, what's your name? Uh, and they, they come out of their their um, position of prayer and they raise their head and look to you with this side eye of like, who is this person talking to me? Um, and, and they go, High Priest Osros. Osros. Okay, well, Ozros, well, there's something going on. Something bad. You know that t- wizard's tower out nor- out south? Uh, uh, there's a man there. Uh, Sorry. I, yes, I, I believe I've heard of it. There's a, there was a guy there, a wizard, uh, Elias Fry. He's been communicating with, uh, with some bad people, I believe. The hollowed flares... People like that, and I, I hand them the letters. Uh, I don't know if you read Abyssal, but... <clears throat> I don't know if he does either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll a d20 and find out. Yay! Sure, he reads Abyssal, and he 
<laughs> he takes the papers from you. You guys are still like crouched down in front of the, the like, back portion of this inner sanctum. Yeah, he, exactly he takes it and it. starts flipping, <laughs> flipping through these pages, and scanning them really quickly. Uh, I I see. Um. This is interesting. To say well, the least. It's not all of it. You see, we found these letters in that wizard's tower, in which we woke up up woke up from after having died. And well, you can see that's quite a weird occasion to wake up to. Uh but I found myself with three new companions, and one of them, Lizeth, her name is had told us that she had been having visions of uh, a rift with monsters flooding out of it in, a, in the snow. So I was thinking this might be all connected, and I thought I'd get your opinion. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> That's all I can think. Sounds interesting. A rift with beasts pouring out of it. Yes. That is unusual. No one's been able to find the the other two rifts that occurred after the collision. And none of the ones that have been discovered have beasts pouring out of them. That That is quite strange, I have to say. Uh, but coming back from the dead... That, that's a tricky thing. It isn't something done lightly, or by very many. Even less come back unscathed. Even those who are brought back by clerics hurt after it. If what you're describing to me is true, there's only one other tale that could hope to match what you're saying. Well, what is that tale? Well, luckily we we have a copy of it. Um and <clears throat> he he rises from his crouched position. We have a a book in in our special collection, a uh, special archive for older volumes. Um, that has a, a tale in it. I can take you into the special archive to show it to you if you wish me to do so. Usually it takes months to get approved to go inside, but I can let you in. If I it would is say really that <laughs> dire. I would say it is very urgent, as this vision seemed to not have come true yet, but we don't know how soon that could be. Okay, and uh, he he leads you um, off over to the left par part of this inner sanctum. There's a, a door leading to another room, um, and he leads you over there and takes out a key and unlocks it. And he opens the door, and inside is this smaller room uh, with with bookshelves in it and kind of more toward the front where the door is, is a, a desk with uh, a ledger um, sitting on top of it, an open ledger with a, an ink pot and a quill next to it. Um, and he makes his way inside and finds one of the shelves and goes down to stand next to it and looks at these uh, different titles on the shelf. Ha! Ah, there it is. And he, he takes down this thick volume uh, with um, this dark brown leather binding to it. And um, he starts flipping through and on the front cover you see um, you see the, the gold etching of, of a title on the front of it. Ronina 
legends and prophecies. And he starts flipping through the pages. You see all these different like poems and and these stories kind of bound in this book. They're old, like thick parchment paper pages flipping through. And you see each one of these stories is kind of divided up with these title pages. And he's flipping through and he reaches one and you see the name up on on this front title page for this story and he stops there it says fate breakers and he f he flips the page and his face drops oh doesn't sound good um how is this possible uh, he hands you the book and then walks over to the ledger and you see looking in this book now all of the pages with this legend on it have been ripped out of the book <laughs> and he he runs over to the ledger and starts kind of sliding his finger down looking at the titles and the, the names this this isn't possible no no one's been in here to check out that title for months. I don't know how this happened. We're gonna move over to um, the tavern <laughs> for for a, a meal. <laughs> A little lunch with our lunch. Lunch. <laughs> with Come our on. one brain cells friends. Yep. <laughs> maybe it's like a brunch and we have like mimosas, maybe, and we're just kind of like chilling. <laughs> well, I'm sure. having this earth-shattering revelation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that seems to be the perfect mood of this of this entire podcast at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Ted just has no um, idea what's happening right now. <laughs> yep. But to be fair, she never completely, knows what's happening. Completely so. in a daze the entire time. <laughs> um, so Kai oh, is just kind of sitting. Hmm? Did you guys come up with a horse name? Um, I was oh, also yeah, spending name. the entire time looking up horse names. So <laughs> even before my dad came, I was like not really paying attention. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you figure one out? Well, I found Master Blaster. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> okay, I just want you guys to be aware that I am writing the words Master Blaster in my DM notebook for the notes for this session as <laughs> under under the category horse name. Just Yay! So, just so you know. <laughs> um, so, what did you guys order? <laughs> 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 what is there on what offer? It, yeah, I, guess. I need a menu. I, I can't just like. <laughs> What's this menu like, DM? What are, what are, what are, what are oh roll for the menu. <laughs> roll for I have, menu. <laughs> <laughs> have, the thing is, I have a legit menu here, but <gasps> <laughs> there are so many. Um, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna send this picture in in the chat. <laughs> Because there are so many different options here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> what is this tavern called? The Blind Beholder. Oh, and uh, going into it, you notice that it actually looks like a, like an old temple, and it's there's a like a. Picture, Sarah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was just the picture or my eyes just being bad. No, it, but... it's blurry. No, it's very blurry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Crocodile steak. What? 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 That was just the first thing that I saw. Bait goose breast. What? Ooh. Dragon steak? Owl bear. Oh, no way. Oh, no. 
my okay typical dinner options lunch oh. options oh yeah what time and is it is it like i guess it's lunch time if we're having yeah. lunch that would make sense and then there's, there's like for noble merchant and commoner oh what kind of inn is this is it a normal inn a cheap inn <clears throat> Well, it's in the slums, so I would probably cheap. Let's say cheap. Cheap probably would be the way to go. I cannot read any of the commoner lunch options, so I think there's uh, there's stew, stockpot stew, adventurer's steak, minced pork, and roast goat and cheese. Kai's having the roast goat and cheese. Okay, I'm gonna have some stew. So that's... Tatha's probably never had any of this before. She's only been on land for like a month. Okay, so Kai has like squeaks on his shoulder and he's gonna turn to Tatha and be like, I would recommend for you, I'm thinking the steak. All right, like. I'll get that then. This is also just because I, I cannot imagine every the options, day, even so. though you just <laughs> told me. <laughs> it might be too blurry, but there are prices on there, so... Yeah. Oh no, money. <clears throat> yeah, money. <laughs> if money. if that, go with the cheap that prices, thing. it's like three or four copper. Yeah. It's... Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> the stew is three I just forgot money. It existed. shouldn't be too expensive for the person that found seventy gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I don't know, I did, probably didn't get finished saying this, but um, going into this tavern, you see it looks, it's in the, the temple district of what old Delmount was. So, um, it's, it's an old, broken down temple. It's still, most of it is still standing, but it is kind of rough. And there's a, a sign just kind of propped up next to the door that says Blind Beholder tavern on it. I'm just gonna sit here silently and listen to you guys eat your fi- fantasy food. <laughs> it's delicious. So Kai has squeaks his little mouse on his free. shoulder and he's just like eating him crumbs of like cheese <laughs> that like fall off the thing. Okay. I'm picking out things from the stew and feeding it to uh, Parsley and Jeffrey. Oh man, I also realize I'm the only one without a fun animal friend, I think, at this point. Yeah, Tef, we should get you some. Well, you have Master Blaster. Oh, wait, I do! Yeah, I, I have Master Blaster! <laughs> you have your work. <laughs> do I have this Jeffrey is... with me, or did I leave him with Hattie? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I, we. Let's just say that we put all the animals in Kai's Kai's house. Yeah, well, including that's the horse. One area. I guess the horse would be at the stable or like outside. <laughs> I'm trying to think how you would fit the horse in the Kai's one room like home. I don't think I should leave Jeffrey with your little mouse friend. Oh yes, that idea. might be. I'll just I, I'm little... carrying Jeffrey. I don't mind carrying Jeffrey. Bad idea. <laughs> Jeffrey's a bird. Jeffrey is the oat. The oat that we adopted. Which is the, the owl, owl goat. Owl, owl goat, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Squeaks is just a little mouse. And I'll, I'll say I left Humphrey at, at Kai's, just like in the garden to eat the weeds. Okay. <laughs> no. Because the image of him following you around the temple yeah. during this big oh, dramatic <laughs> dramatic scene is kind of funny. <laughs> She's like, oh my god. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> now that the pets are settled. <laughs> All right. After All right. we finish lunch, where do we go? I guess back to the temple with uh, Hattie. Okay. I've got our lunch get in the cart with Master Blaster. Wait, so we went to the temple, we went to go eat lunch, and then we're going back to the temple? No, we were at the well, tent. We gotta pick up. A... Yeah, but we were at the tent, so we had to go get Hattie. <laughs> no, we didn't but take Hattie stopped... with us. Yeah. We just went we to lunch to... without her. We had to stop for lunch first. 
Wait till we're eating oh, without not gonna, Hattie. She's yeah. not gonna be happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the juxtaposition between between these two sides of the situation is absolutely hilarious to consider. Okay. So you guys are, are doing what now? Are you taking taking the horse? No, we're taking Master Blaster to go yeah, get we're taking Master Blaster. Patty at the temple. Okay. Cart and all. Okay. Cart and all. Okay. I assume. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't, sure. I don't know how wide these streets are. Kai's legs are tired. <laughs> You're not gonna get kind looks as you're walking through town like this, but well, yeah, you can I don't do care it. about any of them. You can do it. <laughs> Neither does Leza. Kai is hiding his face because, oh, like, wait. most like more there often are than not, the people stairs that lead up to the temples. Oh no! <laughs> 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 that that town, can, up, can horses walk stairs? upstairs? I don't well, know anything cart. about horses. The the cart might be a little tricky here. <laughs> I think Kai is just has his face in his hands. Let's just like, try it. Let's just recognize. try to go up the stairs. Oh no! Oh no! Cart, I'm gonna get get down out of the cart and try to coax Master Blaster up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! We I'm are just, so stupid. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just picturing it in my head. Of all these people around you, <laughs> walking around as you guys are trying to mo- move a horse and a cart up the stairs <laughs> to get to the temple, <laughs> just stopping on their nice <laughs> afternoon walk <laughs> to, watch, <laughs> to watch you. Idiots. God! <laughs> I don't know if I can keep DMing after this. <laughs> Does it work at least? I mean, yeah, but... It's, right. It looks it's, really it's stupid. Roll. It's really stupid, yeah. I didn't even have to roll. We, Look at that. We do have to get the cart back down. Yeah, that's... <laughs> you know what? That'll be a problem for future us. We don't have to worry about that now. I can just Cross imagine that how Hattie's gonna yell at us. <laughs> hey, you girls know what I'm looking forward to? What? I'm looking forward to the lecture we're going to get from Hattie after this. You know what? You were the one who didn't want to walk. <laughs> I'm tired! Is that, am I not allowed to be tired? <laughs> <sighs> Let's just go. This is what you get for leaving the children alone. Just Can Master Blaster fit the in the temple? <laughs> <laughs> no! Which one? Which one are you talking about? Which temple? The temple that Hattie's in. I No, because it's a library. Oh, darn it's it. essentially a library. <laughs> you will be frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> from Ronita and back. <clears throat> I don't have a spell <laughs> that I could use to get him in there. Jesus. No. Oh my gosh. You know what? I think Kai's just going to stand outside with the horse. Like, he's done. He's tired. <laughs> okay, I leave Master Blaster outside of the library if I go inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leslie just kind of pats him on the head. Says, good boy. And goes off. Because he did Kai a good sits- job. He went up the stairs. <laughs> and then Kai sits in the driver's seat to make sure that the horse doesn't run away. And then just like puts his head in his hand. And then is like, please, no one recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> Weepingly tired. <laughs> Do we find Hattie? <clears throat> uh, well, I don't know if we established what she did after the the revelation about the uh, book. No, we didn't. Um, so, we left off where the priest was, um, kind of going down this list of, of names of books and, and patrons that have come through and requested titles. 
Um, and he came to the revelation that no one's requested Ronina Legends and Prophecies for months, and he doesn't know how these pages could have been ripped out. Maybe it has something to do with, uh, with everything going on. <clears throat> Someone might have snuck in somehow, got in and tore the pages out. He nods his head. That, that does seem most likely, although I don't know how they did it. Well, we can't do anything about it now. Are there any more copies of this anywhere? <sighs> Well, certainly not in our collection. They're, they're very rare. You have to understand these. This title was published a long time ago. That's why it's in this collection, this archive. Uh, most volumes that are available, very rare and hard to find. Hmm. I, I don't know where else they would be located. Okay. This is to the DM. This could be a stretch, but I did add more info to the temple I worked at before. And I I could see something as valuable being there. So would it could it possibly be there? Like a version of it that I remember. Um I know that it was like, I wouldn't consider the temple that that you came from to be one of the bigger ones around. It's not. Yeah, so it's it's not one of the, the biggest temples. Um, so they didn't have the, the biggest collection um, in their archive at all. Um, I mean, if you came across it, I don't know that you would remember it if you weren't looking for it. It's a very plain book. <laughs> because what I'm saying about the temple is that a very rich person owned it beforehand, like a collector, uh, and then gave it away to the temples. Like the, the, the curator, sort of. Right, right. Um, so I was just wondering that, is it possible? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. So if we ever go back there, we can look. Yeah, you can look. You can okay. certainly try to look, but <clears throat> that's okay. a search for okay. another session, I think. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. definitely a search for another session. Okay. So I, I turn back to uh, to Osros. Well, thank you for trying. That's all I could ask for, I guess. He nods his head. Still a little... A little sad this happened. A little disappointed. Yeah. How do you feel in that too? <laughs> um, I'm gonna walk up to the ledger though, and okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna write my name. I'm also gonna write Huxley and Zia in there. And okay. Then I'm gonna turn to him, nod, and then leave. All right. And uh, as you exit this room, close the door behind you and go back out into the inner sanctum, um, you see, <laughs> standing kind of at the edge of where the bookshelves end and turn into the like the inner temple area, are your three companions <laughs> standing there just kind of staring at you as you come out. <laughs> I'm just gonna, my mood is gonna switch like that. I'm gonna be like, so what did you guys get up to while I was gone? <laughs> just like, a disapproving mother. Just zombies. <laughs> well, we made some friends. <sighs> um, <laughs> we drove a, a horse and cart up some stairs. And also ate lunch. Yeah. And that's pretty <laughs> much it. You the sound like, snake. okay, you guys sound like you just came back from your first day at kindergarten <laughs> <laughs> and are telling, telling your mother what happened that day. 
The no. horse is named Master Blast. <laughs> I should have... I should have expected this. Well, while you three were having a grand old time being whatever you are, uh, children, I suppose, uh, I was actually trying to figure out what's going on. And, well, I have a lead. What kind of lead? A lead on what? Uh, a lead on everything that's happened. The letters, those, the rift. I think it's all attached to as the high priest I was just talking to was telling me a prophecy called Fate Breakers. Unfortunately, the chapter that it was in was stolen. It was ripped out of the book and it's gone. Wonderful. So I have no idea anymore, but we should totally go and find the chapter. And you have no idea who stole it? Nope. Sounds about right for us. Mm -hmm. So, I think it would be in our best interest to go and find another copy of this book. Because there are more copies. But to go ne- where to go next, I have no idea. Well, where are the other copies? In the bigger temples around Ro- Ronina, I assume. But let's go to one so, of those. DM, what's the closest one? <laughs> um, probably the one in... Well, okay. There are temples over in Hollow Haven. Ooh. But, um, I don't know if they would have it. Uh, you would have to go and find out. Um, the other closest one would be in Sage Lake. Okay. Which that's... is a long ways away. Yeah, yeah. that's a super far. <clears throat> But I, I need to instill in this you three, because I'm sure this importance is going right over your head. That this is a prophecy that could be about us. So it would be in our best interest to go as soon as possible to find out if it is about us and what we're going to do about it. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should go find the nearest... Yeah. <clears throat> is it too find. late to uh, like let y'all three go on ahead and just kind of stay back and run my business or do I have to go now like am I obligated do you want to find out why you came back alive I mean and, and what it all means I, you know I'm very content to still be alive but like I'm not curious my question is like are you three going to like beat me over the head with something and knock me unconscious and then like tie me down and drag me with you no I'm not I guess I'd feel guilty if you went without me you might need me so I'll go with we probably would need you also, who's to say that, like, if I get, like, without, with, like, outside of a five mile radius of you three, that I will not just, like, drop dead immediately? Yeah. That's a terrifying thought. Well, I suppose that means we're supposed to stick together. <sighs> Which means I am probably going to have to take care of all of you. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's road trip. Road trip. <laughs> On Master road trip. Blaster. Woo! Patty just face palms. Ugh. Are we outside yet? (laughs) No, this is all. I I don't know, actually. How about I'm just after this whole? I'm just gonna like. I'm just gonna walk outside. I'm just done. (laughs) I like to imagine them walking out behind you, and they just like present the fact that they've moved this horse and and cart up to the temple. Just like, huh? Are you impressed? What do you think? Uh, <laughs> what did you do to this poor horse to bring it up these stairs? And why did you even bring the horse? 
It's just I was tired. Kind of tired. <laughs> My God, you're even more children than I thought. Well, I haven't had my afternoon nap yet. <laughs> Rough day at kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Master Blaster minded too much. Yeah, Master Blaster was chill with it. He went along with it. Yeah. I don't think he minded climbing the stairs. Well, while you're trying to get the horse back down, I'm going to go back to Kai's house. Goodbye. And I just walk away. <laughs> I, just I have walk the back. key. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> you start making your way down the stairs, and a few minutes pass. More like ten minutes pass, and you <laughs> you look next to you, and you see the t- see them coming down the path behind you, as they've <laughs> just now gotten gotten the horse and cart off of the stairs. <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> Very carefully, <laughs> indeed. I'm just I like what coached I'm... Master Blaster down the stairs, and the other two kind of held the cart back as much as they could. <laughs> so it didn't trample the poor horse. <laughs> I, I just see this, and I just, like a grandma in a mall red, heading towards the sale, I just speed walk faster <laughs> away as fast as I can. <laughs> Everybody, I'm your Dungeon Master, Gabrielle, and I just want to say thank you so much for listening to this episode of Use Your Imagination. You can follow the show at Dungeons and Doodles on Twitter. Don't forget to visit our website, dungeonsanddoodles.weebly.com, to find more information about the show, the hosts, and where you can access transcripts for past and future episodes. You can stream Use Your Imagination on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and Podbean. If you'd like to support the series, make sure to leave us a review on iTunes. Again, thank you. I hope you'll be joining us next time.